Okay, this is an updated video tutorial on how to get Arduino set up with ESP32. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be using the latest version of Arduino, so you need to go to the Arduino website uh, and download the latest version. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to be using Arduino IDE 2.3.2. Um, so if you're on a Mac, make sure that you choose the correct version. Um, if you're kind of on an older Mac, you're going to use the Intel. Uh, if you're running one of the uh, Mac like M1 or M2, M3s, you're going to use the Apple Silicon. Uh, for the Windows, um, so we're going to go ahead and run the, the Windows 10 and newer 64 bits uh, version. So you'll go ahead and download that uh, and get that installed and updated. Um, again, for this tutorial, we're going to be using the latest version of Arduino. Uh, so at that point, then, once you have it installed and open, so it should open up like this, uh, we're going to need to uh, install some drivers uh, that will be compatible with the ESP32. Um, so in the software roundup, um, you're going to see a couple of different links. Um, we're going to go to that first link, which is going to take us to the Scilabs website. And in here, uh, you're going to see that there's a couple of different drivers that we um, have the opportunity to download. Uh, if you're on a Windows machine, you're going to download the CP210X Universal Windows driver. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you're going to install this Mac OS X driver. Um, and so you'll go ahead and download this uh, and install it and just follow the uh, instructions. Uh, you may need to restart your computer after installing these. Um, and so, like I said, just follow the instructions. Um, I've already got it installed, um, but this will kind of help you get through this process. Um, at that point, uh, you're going to have the Arduino uh, software open. And the next thing we need to do is to let the Arduino software know um, about the ESP32. Um, and so we're going to go up to File, down to Preferences, and here, uh, in the additional boards manager URLs, um, we're going to add this very particular link. Um, where you can get this text is back on the software roundup. Um, so if you go to this ESP32 board files and you click on it, uh, the text that you're going to copy is just this address here. So the dl.esprestif.com all the way up to index.json. So you're going to copy that and come over here and you're going to paste it into uh, this line. You may already have this if you've done ESP32 work before, um, but if you haven't, then you need to copy and paste that in. And so you'll click OK at that point. Then um, we're going to come over to this little icon here. This is our boards manager. Um, we're going to type in ESP32. Uh, it's going to come up with two options, this Arduino ESP32 boards. Uh, this is not the one that we want. Uh, we want the ESP32 by Expressive Systems, uh, and so we want the latest version, so you may need to either click the Install button or the Update button, depending on if you've done this before, but go ahead and make sure that it's all updated. Um, once that's been installed, um, what we can do is we can take an ESP32, you'll need to come see me to borrow one just for this test, and we're going to plug it into our computer, so I've just plugged it in. Um, at this point, you should see you know, a variety of COM ports um, on a PC. Um, mine shows up as COM3. Again, you may need to test this around. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and click this little edit board and port. Um, and we want to make sure that we get it programmed for the right board. There's lots to choose from. So I'm just going to start in by typing ESP32. And then I'm going to scroll down, down, down. And I want to select this ESP32 dev module. There's lots of ones that kind of look like it, but this is the one that we want for our particular board. I'm going to click OK, uh, and then at this point I'm going to click Upload, and ESP32s take a little bit longer to uh, compile the code than just a regular Arduino, so you may need to be a little bit patient, but it'll compile, connect, and you'll see that it's uploading, 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 and you see that it says done uploading. So this is kind of the goal. We want to get to this point. Um, if you uh, see that done uploading, then you have completed this step and you can move on. Um, if you have not, then you may have skipped a step um, or you may have a you know, special circumstance with your computer. Um, at that point, go talk to a lab assistant or come talk to me and we'll try to get you uh, squared up. But this is going to be very helpful to us uh, later on the semester, so we want to make sure that you get it all set up correctly now. And that's it.